So it's got zombies, it's got aliens, it's got vampires, flying saucers, like what else do you want from a science fiction? In 1959, there's a film that came out called Plan 9 from Outer Space. It was considered one of the worst movies ever made. This isn't plans one through eight from outer space. This is plan nine. This is the one that worked. The worst movie ever made. My grandfather worked on it. So my grandfather worked on the worst film ever made, which is kind of a funny fact. It's not most definitely his only claim to fame, but I, I love old school science fictions. It was original. So bad it's funny. I've always loved that idea of failure. It's almost definitely something that like, when I was younger, I didn't rest well with the idea of failure. But as I've matured, especially my creativity, I've come to really learn the significance of failure. And so, you know, we're plan 10 is kind of a play on, on that whole concept of, you know, you gotta just, First, if you don't succeed, try, try again. We embrace that creative process of going from plan one, plan five, plan eight, plan 10. And we feel like when you do that, when you embrace that failure, you get a much better result. And you get more creativity out of it. You create an environment where people feel safe to be uh, creative and empathetic and not feel like the aliens would fail on number nine, so. Perhaps on your way home, someone will pass you in the dark, and you will never know it, for they will be from outer space. <laughs>